Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island is erupting once again. Following a sudden increase in earthquake activity on Wednesday afternoon, and an increase in the U.S. Geological Survey volcanic alert level from advisory to watch, lava is now filling the summit crater once again. The alert level is now at warning. At approximately 3.20 p.m. Hawaii time on September 29th, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory detected glow at the Kilauea summit. Webcam images revealed that an eruption had commenced within the caldera. As of now, all activity is confined to the summit area within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Webcams show fissures at the base of the crater generating lava flows on the surface of the lava lake that was last active in May of this year. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency issued this radio message at 5 p.m. This is a civil defense message. This is a Kilauea volcano update for Wednesday, September 29th. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has revised alert status for Kilauea volcano from watch to warning and the aviation color code from orange to red. A warning status means an eruption is imminent, underway, or suspected. Aviation color code red means an eruption is underway or suspected, with significant emissions of volcanic ash into the atmosphere likely. Kilauea volcano is currently erupting in Halemaumao crater at the Kilauea summit. Eruption activity is confined to Halemaumao crater and the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is monitoring and assessing the situation. Because the eruption is at the summit of Kilauea volcano, the primary hazard is volcanic gas and ash, which can have effects downwind. VOG has been observed downwind from Kilauea volcano. For information on gas hazards, please visit the Kilauea status website. If you experience foggy conditions in your area, limit or suspend outdoor activity. For those with pre-existing respiratory conditions, the safest place is indoors or away from the area experiencing fog. Please keep yourself informed. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Signs of an eruption began suddenly on Wednesday at noon when increased earthquake activity and changes in the patterns of ground formation at Kilauea's summit began occurring. It was an indication that magma was moving in the subsurface. Although an eruption was not certain at that time, the volcanic alert level was raised from advisory to watch. The eruption began a short time later. An early look at the activity is seen here in this photo taken by the USGS as vigorous lava fountains formed in the middle part of the solidified lava lake. These animated thermal webcam images were taken between 2.45 p.m. and 5.45 p.m., and the start of the eruption was recorded. Lava flows have covered most of the crater floor, and the solidified island created during the last eruption is visible in the center. At approximately 4.43 p.m., another vent opened on the west wall of the crater. The vent area and lava fountain can be seen through volcanic gas in this photo. The eruptive activity increased in this area, and by 5 p.m., another vent was growing on the crater wall. The USGS published this map, showing the location of the new fissures at the summit. The new eruption is already generating a vigorous plume of volcanic gas. Sulfur dioxide interacts in the atmosphere with oxygen, moisture, dust, and sunlight to eventually form the volcanic smog. Known in Hawaii as VOB, it can be transported downwind and can have an effect on island air quality. Scientists say the opening phases of eruptions are dynamic and uncertain, and that the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory will continue to monitor Kilauea closely. HEO says it is in constant communication with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, as well as the County of Hawaii Civil Defense Agency as this situation evolves. 